Hi, I'm Rich Wisniewski. Welcome to Storytime. From the Bananas. I thought for our very first story, we would tell a good old-fashioned pub story. This story takes place in the magical land of Scotland. Scotland is the land of brave hearts, caber tossing. I'm pretty sure the world's first floating wind farm. I think I heard that somewhere. And of course, they like a drink or two. You can tell this because there's a genre of whiskey named Scotch after the country. Oh, fun fact that I think I remember correctly. Scotch tape is not named after a Scottish person or someone named Scott. I'm pretty sure it was just slang for a cheap person. Moving on. So in Scotland, there was a duck named Star. This duck was no ordinary duck. Star was a minor celebrity because Star wore sassy bow ties and also because Star was known to knock back a drink or two. Oh, Star! A Scots person has been known to say when they turned their back and the feisty duck would guzzle their beer. Well, one day Star had a bit too many while hanging out with their friends and their dog. The incident, as I understand it, went like this. Quack. You know where it would be just the best place to stand? Star, you're drunk. Stop doing that. Quack. Right on this stupid Quack. dog's Quack. No, no, Head. Star, you've had too many. Please stop. This stupid dog's head Quack. at which point the dog had had enough a brief and vicious fight took place star tried to give as good as they got there were suplexes and chair shots and in the end the angered dog bit the duck so hard star's bill was split i, I don't mean that because of the injury someone paid part of star's bar tab i mean that star's duck mouth was broken Anyway, so Star's owner, who I think also owns the dog, rushed Star to a Scottish veterinarian's office, which I believe is overseen by Madame Pomfrey. There, with the help of airplane cement, they were able to save Star's life and face. The Star has not learned their lesson, and is still drinking today. Bowtie and all, probably getting drinks purchased for them off of this particular tale. Well, that's our story for today. Thank you very much for joining us. Feel free to comment down below any part of the story that wasn't factual. I'm going to do some detective work throughout the week, and then we'll meet back next week to determine how much of the story I made up entirely. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. We have links to all of our internets down below. And join us here at To Karen With Love every day of the week, because we will have new content forever. I'm Rich Wisniewski. Thank you kindly.